друзья, еще раз. It's my pleasure to see you, friends. So many familiar faces, so many acquaintances. This is amazing, because I have seen most of people per Skype. Here we have an ability to meet face to face, to talk and to discuss your interests of the specific things in our work. It's also pleasant to see here lots of my graduates, which I taught in my time. To cut a long story short, I work in Atmo University of IT of Mechanics and Optics in St. Petersburg. I am professor of robotics, it's my main work. That's why my main part of report will be concerned with the technical part, which relates to robots. In a nutshell, a phenomenon that we can observe is called ro robonomica or robot economics. This has already been declared not by us. Last year this term was publicate, publicated in serious publications. For example, a renowned faculty from Howard University used this term in Howard magazine and warned us against the things which have been already mentioned by Sergei. Namely, firstly, robots will take our working places, and secondly, a capital which will be functioning in this economic system is going to accumulate in the hands of those who possess the robots. These are two global problems which we are yearning to solve. However, let us have a closer look at robotics. Robonomica is a discipline that is formed at the turn of two spheres of robotics and economy. Thanks to new technologies that are emerging nowadays, we get an access to information and abilities which belonged only to banks and brokers' boards in the past. Now, we can negotiate automatically a contact and connect it straight with the processes for performance. In that case, a question is reason. What do we have to be interested in? What do we have to study in order to explore this new process, this new tendency? What should be regarded as of paramount importance? Well, according to this part of my speech, I will give specific recommendations at the end. Now I suggest we have an excursion into the historical domain, which shows you how we come to our current being. Let us start with one more time, one more time, please. Let us start with an outstanding figure, Scott Hassan. He is a person who is responsible for development of Google search engine. In 1998, together with Larry Page and Sergey Brin, they start their work on the engine. Nevertheless, Scott Hassan leaves them then. But before he does it, he is able to invest into Google before a company emerges. These investments are only $800. Nonetheless, Scott gets back finally much more and this helps him to develop in future. After that he keeps on working with his own project, eGroups, which is bought out later for $423 million by Yahoo. This money, I mean his share in Google and cash from Yahoo, is his outset for his next project, it is Willow Garage. Willow Garage is an organization 
which is formed in order to accelerate the development of civil, commercial and non-commercial robotics. From 2006 to 2013, Villa Garage develops a unique product in seven years' time. It makes a bound forward. It produces its own service robot, which becomes one of the most popular for scientific and applied researches. At the same time, Villa Garage makes a framework for robotics development which is the most well known at the moment. In 2010, the first stable release of the framework takes place. That is a memorable date. At least for me, from sure. So, let me introduce to you PR2 robot. As you can notice, it has many different parts, two manipulators, mobile platform, which can move to any direction, and various sensors. Moreover, to tell you the truth, it can play billiards and bring beer to you. A nice project. All these systems need a standardized connection, a unified framework, so that they can function coordinatedly. Robot operating system becomes this framework. Robot operating system has been developed since 2006 in order to become the main framework for the development of huge amount of robots. I want to point out that they make a cool thing. They unify the cooperation between different parts of a robot. And it doesn't matter whether it is a hand manipulator or a platform. At the same time, in the last year, 2016, ROS packets and downloaded more than 8 million times, which is 158% more than the previous year. We can see an exponential growth of this framework. And I suppose that its popularity will be increasing, because even now most of the developers of industrial robotics, such as KUKA Robotics, I know that there are representatives of this company Manas, such as Festo Company, Fanu Company, disaggregate the industrial robotics with its only framework. It gives us enormous possibilities in future. In eight years time of its existence, now I will show you what has been done in eight years time of this framework existence. In eight years time, thousands of robots are under the direction of robot operating system. These robots are of entire different structure. These are mobile, manipulating, autonomous, humanoid, industrial, swimming, underwater, online, stalking, and sorting robots. All this works under the United System, which is called Robot Operating System. It has a big amount of packets, which allow it to create amazing things. Architecture of this framework allows to organize work not only with one robot. Because all and sundry part of a robot, it means a robot manipulator, its mobile platform, can be a robot itself. 
but also with a great number of robots. Such work is unified and is turned into a simple task. Well, let's back, get back to Russia. 2010 in St. Petersburg University at Moore, organization called Student Design Office of Robotics is established. There are students get some platforms at their service so that they can check their algorithm and, pro and the prior knowledge which they get while studying. However, there is a tiny hitch. A problem lies in the situation that each platform has its own unique computer language. This can be a text computer language based on BASIC or text computer language based on Pascal, Python, etc. It could also be visual or blog, compound machine language. After all these dozens of machine languages, it's an uphill struggle if a student tries to build a unified logic. That's the reason why most of knowledge is thrown away when a project is over. Later on we try various options. All existing frameworks at that time, to be more precise, it is Urbi from French company Gastai, it is Microsoft Robotics Development Studio and Robot Operating System, of course. Only a robot operating system shows its productivity and later disaggregates all the frameworks mentioned above. Now you see the first robot which was disaggregated with the robot operating system in our laboratory. I want to underline that it takes place in a room of our advanced architect Alexander Krupenkin. His colleague Alesha Hassan and here authors. Both of them are sitting here in this room. Having started with such simple tasks like drawing a target track and execution of preserved actions, we get to the next level now. We improve considerably the work quality on projects in 4-5 years time. We also improve quality of education, since students working on such projects with robot operating system have to study mathematics and physics for solving difficult tasks. In this case, multi-agent management, one should know basic disciplines at a high level. In the first part of the video, you may notice that robots are near one another and try to attain their fix. After they attain their fix, they move, keeping the same distance according to the main robot. In that case, a platform is the main robot. The robots can orientate with the help of infrared cameras, which are located on the top panel of robots, and with the help of infrared lamp, which throws special target points on the ceiling.
As you can see, in that case, we make the retention of location in rotary motion. We achieve good results. However, as you may notice in many computer games, a robot must avoid obstacles. If you choose a group of units and send them somewhere, they walk avoiding obstacles and go to a point that you have chosen. The same thing is made here. Well, if a real obstacle and a real system with its own dynamic exist, we can observe some fluctuations that happen. As a matter of fact, we get a system that can work with a great amount of robotic gadgets. And ROS allows to unify the interaction between them. ROS standardizes the interaction of the parts of one robot or the cooperation of several robots, like AIRA unifies the coordination of robots with people or with various systems in real world. For instance, between self-acting factory and autonomic logistic company. Let us now get to the most relevant part from educational point of view. What, where and how can one learn with the help of robot economics? Sergei has described more or less the situation with the economy a common application to robots is few and far between now. That's why I will emphasize robotics. Sorry. First of all, I would like to point out Baumov. It's a magnificent high school of robotics. It has a renowned faculty, stable rules, and their own secret knowledge in this field of studying. It's a very good school. However, there is a tiny nuance. Last year they disaggregate with a military subunit and redirect to military robotics. The situation which doesn't suit us. Then I would like to know that a number of St. Petersburg universities are very qualified in robotics and demonstrate good results during world competitions. It also includes school robotics, because it is developed better than a university one. Of course, I would like to underline my home university at more University, where we pay more attention to software than to anything else. We put algorithm and robot programming ab above any other consideration. In Polytechnic University, named after Peter the Great, they do very nice mechanics. They possess wide connections with the Center of Scientific Research of Robotics in St. Petersburg and develop relevant projects in space and military branches. Uh, 
The State University of Airspace Instrument Making is a place where smart guys who take part in world competitions and show good results. In brief about Tomsk Polytechnic University, it is an amazing high school of robotics. It has a great number of laboratories and equipment that makes it possible to train good specialists. Far Eastern Federal University trained robotists in under and above water robotics. Its students are second place winners in NASA competition of underwater robotics. Studying at a university is a long process. It isn't for us. One should spend something around 2-4 years. There is another way. It's online robotic courses. I should note that all these professors, engineers and specialists have something to do with the DARPA challenge. DARPA Robotic Challenge is an organization that forms the course of development. Magnus and Gestede course is very fascinating. One of my favorite ones. It mirrors the control of mobile robots. Technical University of Georgia. Andrew Ja MIT Machine Learn. All these courses are available. You can start each of them and or read a description of them. Peter Koch, Kingston Technical University, Robotics Intro and Robot Version. Russell T. Drake is a captain of a team which beat DARPA Grand Challenge several times. He is an outstanding person. The course is very complicated, which asks for depth of knowledge in order to start it. Sebastian Thrun is a program of software for Google Car, artificial intelligence for robotics. Jorgen Strum is a college who writes software for all RGBD sensors. For instance, Kinect, Xteon, Asus, so on and so forth. In the nearest future, we are going to run our own course, which we are creating with the help of AIRA Erasmus Plus program, which is called IOT.EU. In this course, we are going to tell you not only about basic stuff of the Internet, but also about the things that AIRA uses. So, in one year time, I'm looking forward to seeing you. However, there is the quickest and easiest way to study robotics. You should take special books. After having read such a couple of these books, you will know for sure what is going on and what the direction of robot economy is. This pair of books is the best for introduction to kibernetics and physics. Macroeconomy, classical MBA, Andrew Abel and Ben Bernacci, learning robotics using Python is connected with Aero. This is enough for you, in order to have a good idea of our project. Thank you for your attention.